Hello, hello, and welcome. Uh, another tasting is going on. Um, it's 8.01, so I'm getting a little bit closer to my uh, 8 o'clock start of time. Closer than uh, I have been for the past few weeks. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to wait for a couple of you guys to come in, and uh, we'll get this we'll get this week started. I'm really excited. Hey, I have two viewers. It's not telling me who came in. Oh, hey, Teresa, you're number one. <laughs> There's one other person. It's not telling me who, but that's okay. I'll find out in uh, just a moment. Uh, so I'm going to uh, do, for the first time, uh, it's not one of my blends, it's one that uh, is is bought from the store, but happens to be one of my favorites. Hey Ma, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, it happens to be one of my favorites, uh, as you guys know, I've talked uh, quite a bit about uh, Jasmine Tea, and I'm finally doing one of my, uh, one of my, uh, my favorites, Jasmine Silver Needle. Um, so that's going to be coming out. Hey, Michelle, how's it going? I guess my, uh, <laughs> I guess my, uh, my reminder worked. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a, um, my Jasmine Silver Needle, which is actually a mixture of Jasmine tea and white tea. So, uh, I've had it before and it's, it was out of this world. So, uh, I'm going to do it for you guys tonight. Uh, I'm going to wait a couple more minutes, uh, just in case somebody, a uh, couple more people are going to show up. Uh, I put out a lot of reminders, uh, but just like me, people come in late. Nothing can be done. Uh, so this one uh, is a uh, is my first store-bought brand. Um, I didn't create it, so there's no... Um, there's no uh, charity. There's no uh, extra in it. Um, I'm still going to post the uh, the link afterwards because it's one of my. Hey, Brienne, how's it going? Um, it's gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna post the link afterwards because it's it's one that I stand by. I love jasmine tea, and um, oh yeah, that's great. Thanks for uh, for sharing. Everybody else, if you can share it, uh, get the word out there. I would very much appreciate it. Um, so it looks like we've got a good amount of people in. So I'm going to go ahead and start brewing the tea. Well, not brewing the tea. I'm going to heat up the water. Uh, now, normally, this is a uh, this is a mixture of a green tea and a white tea. Uh, so the way I'm going to uh, heat up the water is going to be more towards the green tea flavor. Uh, because when, when you have a white tea, uh, it's semi, uh, it's, it's not as strong as a green tea. Uh, so you usually have to brew it a little bit, um, a little bit cooler in temperature, but, uh, not by so much that it comes out like just lukewarm. That's, that's going to be awful. Uh, so I'm brewing this one at 180 degrees. It's going to take about, uh, between five, uh, between three and five minutes, um, that's it's it's jasmine alone is a pretty strong um green tea so i don't i have uh, full confidence that it'll still come out really good um so in the meantime uh, i wanted to uh, ali how's it going you made it um so i wanted to uh to talk a little bit about the the jasmine flavor because i can't get enough of it uh jasmine alone is very fragrant fra ugh, fragrant and very uh delicate it's very perfumey um so it's kind of depending on hey mrs china you made it uh it's kind of dependent on um the uh the quality of the leaf uh, sometimes if you mix it with a stronger green tea, you'll get a saltier flavor. Uh, but if you have a lighter... Hey, welcome, Gabe! <laughs> uh, when, when you have a, uh, a softer green tea uh, accompanied by it, you get more of the jasmine flavor. And it's a very light, um, very, very almost silky taste to it. Um, so it sounds like my tea, my, my water's almost done. You can, I don't know if you can hear the, uh, the water boiling, but, um, it's just about to start to steam. And, uh, since this is going to be at 108, oh, it was 118, no, I always do that, 180, sorry, uh, at 180 degrees, um, you, you can use it in baking, I don't know, uh, 
cooking so much. Um, hey, Shana, you made you you're here. <laughs> uh, I guess you got the uh, the word from Nicole that uh, that I was doing the stream tonight. Um, but yeah, you can use it in baking. Um, I don't know what you would use it for in cooking. Maybe if you were. Yeah, I was just about to, to suggest that as like a rub. Um, I would accompany it with fish uh, because it won't overpower the flavor. It'll actually um, add to it since fish itself is a pretty um, is a pretty light uh, taste to it. So it looks like my water is done. Just gonna pull it off real quick. All right, so as always, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up this tea and give you my, well, I can't say my first impressions because I have had this before, um, but it has been a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what this is. <laughs> oh, I, it didn't open all the way. There we go. Okay, now the one thing I want to uh, definitely show you guys is the look. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it all too well, but here is a silver needle. It's very, it's very stiff, very pointy. Um, I don't know how, I hope that you guys can, s no, it's not focusing very well. But there's a slit right up the middle. And that's what opens up to, um, let me see if there's a better one. There's a couple here that are wider. You could probably see it. Oh, uh, let me separate that. There we go. Yeah, this one looks a little bit better. You can see that there's an opening in the middle. Uh, that's where the bloom is. And there's kind of like... You're not going to see it on here, but there's kind of like little hairs in it. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> Um, there's little hairs in it, and that's, uh, part of what gives off the flavor. Uh, it's a very, it's a very delicate leaf altogether, so the, when, when you get the flavor out of it, it's, it's very soft. It's a very soft flavor. Okay, so my first impressions, it's kind of like, oh, it's really hard to describe. It's like what silk would smell like. It's very almost milky. And it's really, it's, it's, it's a really soft, I mean, I, I guess that's the best way to describe it, it's just really soft and, and really fragrant. So now I'm gonna pour a little bit in here. Oh, why don't you come out? Oh, it's all stuck. The, the thing about these kinds of leaves, since they're so big, um, you shouldn't freeze it. Freezing will actually um, kind of dull the flavor, but it can stay uh, in a bag like this for about a year or so. Um, so there's no, there's no real hurry. Um, there we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, I wouldn't suggest that. Uh, let's see, alright. Uh, I guess that's enough. Yeah, it, it's a little bit hard to determine how much without using a teaspoon because, the, like I said, the leaves are very big. So when you, um, when you measure it out, you're going to actually have to use more because there's not, it, it takes up so much space that there's not a whole lot of... Uh, of tea in there so you, normally I fill up my uh, my thing to about here but I give it a little bit of extra room because everything is so uh, it, it expands more so I'm gonna go ahead and pour out the water and in about three to five minutes I'm gonna probably do it closer to three because, like I said, this is a, uh, it's a green tea and a white tea, so it's going to be a little bit more delicate. Uh, let me see what time it is. Uh, 8.11. So at about 8.14, I'll, uh, I'll unsteep it. Oops, might as well 
bring out my little cup so I have a place to to put my uh, my infuser once I pull it out uh, and again as usual I uh, went ahead and uh, I pre-sweetened my pot with uh, some stevia uh, I love stevia it works so much better than sugar and it's 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 better for you uh, it's about I think it's supposed to be like 10 times sweeter um, for for weight loss, yes. Uh, jasmine, since it's a green tea, it helps purify you. Uh, I mean, sorry, the, the silver needle is the white tea that purifies you. Uh, the green tea is great for metabolism. Uh, it's great for your immunity. It's great to for circulation. So I would suggest that you know this would be a really good tea to use. Um, and it's very low in caffeine. Uh, it is caffeinated, but not to uh, to an extreme point. Uh, like let's say matcha. Matcha I, I use as an example all the time because uh, it's a very, it's a very, it's it's like the other side of the spectrum essentially. Uh, it's a very concentrated green tea, so there's going to be more caffeine. There's going to be um, more of the antioxidants and everything that's good for you. But since it's so, it's still compact, uh, you'll be taking more caffeine intake. Um, so jasmine would be great for an afternoon into the evening, uh, if caffeine affects you too much. Um, my tolerance is pretty good, so I feel good about doing it at <laughs> 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, 8 o'clock at night. Uh, so it looks like I have about one minute left, uh, so I'm going to keep it there for a while. As a matter of fact, I, I think I might leave it in there for an extra minute because it feels like either time is flying way too fast or I might have caught the uh, the late end of that last minute. So I'll just uh, round it up a little bit because I want to get the full flavor uh, of the jasmine tea. But I don't want to oversteep it because jasmine is one of those teas where um, if you leave it in for too long, uh, you'll, you'll ruin it. Um, it'll taste more, more like perfume than that silky, uh, silky flavor that, uh, that I prefer. Um, just on a, a side note, uh, one of my coworkers was talking about, um, he got a tea, it was, uh, Earl Grey and Jasmine, and that I was very conflicted on, because <laughs> you guys know Earl Grey is not my favorite, um, and it's, it's an acquired taste. So I told him, I was like, if you don't like it, don't worry. It's an acquired taste. Be sure, though, that you don't let it turn you off Jasmine altogether. Maria, hey, you made it, and you're only 14 minutes late. <laughs> Even though I told you five minutes ago you were... <laughs> anyway, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, Earl Grey, it's, it's hard to get used to. Uh, no, actually, it's, uh, jasmine tea is, um, it, it's, it's, it's more of a leaf, but the rice is made in the rice patties. Uh, so it, it's not, it's not really related, but it just has the same, um, well, you know what? Before I answer completely, I should look that up because I know that the jasmine, uh, the jasmine leaf is very floral. Um, but the, uh, yeah, you throw me, <laughs> you throw me off, Allie. I did get the reference, even though I never read the books, but, um, oop, it's 8.15. Okay, so let me go ahead and, uh, pull this up. So I know that the, uh, the jasmine leaf is very floral. I don't believe it's got anything to do with the, with the rice, but it's something that I think I should look up before I answer that. Uh, with definition. Um, what do you mean the 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 rice being jasmine or the jasmine being the jasmine leaf being the rice? All right, I'm just going to mix it up a bit. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna. To tell you guys what it smells like once it's uh, completed steeping. Yep. Oh, yes. Okay, that is more. Hey, princess, you made it. Uh, that is more like once once you steep it, 
the perfume side of it comes out more. Uh, I really, <laughs> I really love the, the way that it smells. If I could get like an air freshener like this, it would be amazing. Um, I think that in this case, uh, the, the scent comes out stronger after it's uh, wet rather than when it's dry. Uh, and it's it's a good thing that way because you know that you're getting more of the flavor once it's out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, I want to make sure that I give all the, the, the best answers. Um, so I'm gonna look it up and I'll post the answer after everything is uh, after everything is done and I have the time, because it's good to know. I mean, I, it never occurred to me that there might be a relationship between jazz. Hey, Kara, you made it. Uh, the jasmine tea, the rice, and it just never occurred to me. And I'm assuming uh, grown in in rice patties, and you need a whole lot of water. Uh, jasmine would come from uh, being a tea would come from a tea tree. So I'm just making the comparison based on what um, on, on the type of plant that it should come out of. But for something like that, I want I'm actually interested now in finding out the answer. Okay, so I'm going to uh, take out take my first sip as usual. And I'm really excited about this. Uh, but before I do, I wanted to uh, say a little something. It was a little bittersweet today. Um, today was my manager's last day, and I didn't get to go to the bar to to celebrate and say goodbye. Uh, so I'm gonna have my little drink here uh, in your honor, Kelsey. If you watch this later on, thanks for everything. Mmm. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Now I haven't had uh, jasmine tea, uh, not jasmine tea, jasmine silver needle in a while. But so I, I would imagine that the the since the silver needle is a very light taste, the jasmine would be more um, more pro pronounced in here. Um, this is actually I have a nice uh, a nice soft flavor to it. Um, it's milky and buttery, which I think is amazing. Mm. And it's, it's, I mean, it's really hard for me to describe jasmine because every time I do, it's just a jasmine flavor. It's very distinct. Uh, it's not like anything else that's out there. I, I, I know, I know. <laughs> and it's bad because to me, every tea has a different nuance, you know? And I try to find the best words in my own words without, like, going to the internet and say, okay, so this is how it's described in the, um, uh, on the page. I, I want to, to make it more, more personal. Um, and it's really, it's, it's really hard because Jasmine has that, that kind of distinct flavor. Like you would walk into a tea shop and smell it, say that's Jasmine. Um, but unless you taste it for yourself, you sample it, um, it's really, it's really hard to describe. It's very perfumey. It's very, uh, fragrant, uh, very smooth and, and, and silky. And, you know, it's, it's, I, I want to say it's more milky than buttery. Um, in this case, rather than the opposite. I think that, uh, the jasmine that I was, ha that I was talking about last week, that, uh, high end stuff is more buttery than milky. Um, and I think that, that kind of flavor is the difference between um, the jasmine silver needle and the, uh, I, f I keep forgetting, the, the jasmine, oh, I would have, I always forget the name of this one, uh, Fujian Jasmine Pearls. <laughs> one of these days I'll remember. Mmm. Well, the the color, the color is a little bit. Um, it's 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 gonna be hard to see. Uh, you know, let me 
It's it's because it's it's not as pronounced as uh, last week's pearl uh pearl peaches, but I'll give it a shot. It's a green tea, so I hope that my uh, I hope that my camera can do it justice. But let me switch it over. Okay, I'm gonna get some light here. So it's a very light green, um, almost gray color. Um, you can see that where the uh, the reflection of the cup is on the uh, opposite end, it's kind of like almost... I'm going to put that down real quick because I feel my hand is uh, shaking a little bit. Um, it's it's really hard to... to, to tell on the on the camera uh, what the color is it's it's very very pale green and it's it's a little bit different because uh, the jasmine the 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 jasmine silver needle tea itself is more brownish in color even though the jasmine itself is technically a green tea um, so it's it's a bit of a contrast. I guess the color dilutes when you um, when you when you steep it, which I think is a good thing in in jasmine teas in general because you don't want to have an overpowering uh, fragrant taste because, like I said before, it starts to taste like uh, it starts to taste like uh, like perfume. You know, you get that kind of soapy alcoholic taste. Um, on your tongue, and it's just, yeah, it's not a good look. Well, welcome back, Maria. You can always uh, go back and uh, watch the parts that you missed, uh, and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, uh, you you'll find that part that that portion entertaining. Okay, so uh, once again, I'm going to uh, open it up to you guys. Uh, let me know your questions, anything that you want to, uh, to talk about that's tea related. I'm glad to, uh, to talk about that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take this moment to do a little bit of research and, uh, find the answer to that jasmine, rice, jasmine, tea question. Price point. Um, this one, let me go back real quick. Uh, it's online. Now, it's a little bit more on the uh, expensive side because it is uh, a jasmine tea. Uh, so you'll have uh, for uh, one and a half ounces, which is the size that I have here, it's uh, $16. They have the, um, yeah, I know what you want to talk about, Teresa, and I'll, I'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> you and your cookie question. Um, for the 1.5, that's about $16. They have a, uh, an eight ounce, uh, package, which is going to be 49. Um, that one, if you're more towards the, uh, if you're already a Jasmine fan, I highly recommend it. Uh, it would definitely do, um, it, it's definitely worth the, worth the price. Um, just like I was talking about last week, the, uh, the expensive stuff is like, going on 40 bucks for 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 five ounces so 49 for this one it's a really good deal in my opinion and don't worry Teresa I'll get back to you in just a moment I'm going to uh, just look up that that question real quick and Jasmine T Related. Okay. Uh, what is it called? Jasmine. Jasmine Rice. Sarah, you're a little bit late, but welcome. <laughs> I'm glad you made it. Okay, so let's see what this says. Okay, so at first glance, it doesn't look like they're they're related. Um, jasmine rice is 
more of a white rice. Uh, let me pull up. I just want to double check. Plus, it looks like actually jasmine rice, according to Wikipedia, it says that it comes from Thailand. Um, but jasmine tea comes from Japan. So I want to double check these things. Oh, but they do have jasmine tea in, uh, infused rice, which I think that might actually be really good if you boil the if you boil rice and jasmine tea. That might actually be really good. That's something for me to think about. <laughs> okay. Anyway, before I get too uh, before I get too excited, let's see. All right. Uh, I'm reading. Talking about. Oh no, sorry. It's uh, it's from China, not Japan. I don't know why I said Ch Japan. I always, I always get it mixed up. And I know that's bad for me to say, but I'm still learning. You know, nobody's perfect. Uh, jasmine flowers. Yeah, it's all jasmine flower. There's no relation to jasmine rice. But now actually I want to try that that uh jasmine infused rice. That I'm going to try and I'm going once I do it, I'm going to put it on Facebook because I know that you guys are going to be uh interested in the results of that. Uh okay, so cookie time. <laughs> So cookies, um, since this is a light flavor, I would go with a light cookie. Uh, I would say a sugar cookie would go great with this. Um, although I think that texture-wise, it might go well with angel food cake. Um, if cake is on the menu, then yeah, but if we're keeping it strictly cookies, I would say a sugar cookie, um, something along those lines. Oh yes, that's good. <laughs> I love, I love the way that that jasmine tastes. It's it's the way when it after it sits there for a bit, um, the it cools off and you get more flavor. Uh, the more you drink it, so I like to, I like to uh, let it cool off a bit usually. Um, oh, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to slurp it. I know, it's force of habit. I love jasmine tea so much, I just gulp it. Um, a Snickers bar? Uh, I think that the Snickers bar might be okay with it. I wouldn't um, I wouldn't put too much effort uh, into that. I would say stick to the, uh, the lighter snacks. Yeah, I tend to uh, gulp my jasmine tea because I just love it so much. I get overexcited. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I slurped it just for you guys. You're welcome. Um, just to give my impressions of it. Uh, you get When you slurp it, you get more of an, of an airy taste to it. Uh, which I think it, it adds to the flavor. Um, when, it's a, uh, when it's aired out. You get more of the buttery, uh, of the buttery flavor to it, um, other than the milk, and I think that that that's an effect of the cooling, um, because like I said, when it started, it was more milky than buttery, but now that it's cooling off, you're getting more of the buttery flavor. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I, I, I can't get enough of that. Um, this is one that I might not bring to work just because I'm greedy. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Uh, luckily, it doesn't look like anybody from work is here today, so I might just get away from, uh, get away with it. Um, but anyway, all everybody from from work, Aaron, what's up? Talking about people from work, uh, but you work across the the country. So uh, I won't be able to share this with you. I can still get away from it for, uh, with the uh, with the office people. <laughs> um, 
Generally, I don't add milk uh, to tea unless it's Earl Grey. But that's just my, my personal tastes. You can add milk to it. Um, I think that if you do add milk to it, though, it might overpower the, the jasmine flavor. Yeah, sharing is caring, but you know what? They they get stuff all the time. This is me now. <laughs> they know I love them. And besides, my uh, desk drawer is starting to get overflowed, so I'm going to use that as an excuse and say, oh, I can't because there's no room for it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't add milk to this. I would add milk to a more... A stronger tea, uh, let's say like a black tea, English breakfast. Uh, yeah, English uh, chai tea with milk in it is really good, um, but it has to be a really heavy, heavy uh, chai. Like I, I think that I would do it in masala chai, which is one I should. Act oh no, I have the Thai chai. Hmm. I think I need to to restock in my masala. But masala chai, uh, masala chai is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, it's got a really nice kick to it, but the uh, black tea portion isn't overpowering, so you get a nice burn without the without too much earthiness to it. Um, so I, I'm definitely going to to be streaming one uh, later on with masala chai because. Uh, I mean that's that's one of my favorites, and I always recommend it to people who who like chai. Um, and who knows, maybe maybe in a couple weeks, I'm thinking that because I still have Thai chai here. I have um, cocoa mint green, which is a very interesting one. Uh, I'm considering that that's probably going to be next week's. Um, and well, you'll 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 all see why later, um, and you know I mean it, it's it, it's good that you know I'm planning ahead because uh, I think I'm running a little bit low on uh, on my purchases. I'm going on Sunday uh, to see what's around. I have to pick up some lemongrass. Um, have I tried chai tea outside of Adagio? I have. Oh yeah, I actually have um, Dunkin' Donuts. Has a nice vanilla chai and uh, so does uh, so does Starbucks. Um, Dunkin' Donuts is more creamy and milky. I think they actually put milk in it. Um, I don't know what kind of chai they use. Greg, you finally <laughs> you made it. Um, I think that uh, that they actually use milk in the Dunkin' Donuts vanilla chai. Um, they also, I believe they put milk in the, uh, in the Starbucks version as well. Uh, but I think they, they use cinnamon and something else. Well, I mean, the, that's outside Adagio. Um, if you're looking for, for another, another answer, I haven't yet, but on Monday as well, um, I'm going to Chinatown with my roommate. Uh, and he says that there's a uh, there's a, a tea shop that he knows of, and I would probably be uh, interested in there in uh, seeing what they have. So that's definitely something to to check out. I might just bring home a chai, and we'll see how it is. Um, if it's really good, I'll I'll stream it. Um, but I want to I want to try it out for myself first because I want to know um, if it would be worth. Uh, give it Bigelow. I have had Bigelow tea before. Uh, I haven't had their their chai though. I think I've had like their English breakfast, um, or something like that. Best Friday. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate that. Is it uh, just this particular one or every week? Uh, yes, please do, Teresa. Let me know what uh, what spots you go to. And I don't want to hear something like Tivana, because those are everywhere. I want you to take me to some place that's like around the corner and a little hole-in-the-wall place that has amazing tea, because that's, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Uh, Celestial Seasonings? 
Um, they they do very good herbal teas. Um, I don't know about I don't I don't recall anything off the top of my head as far as uh, green and black tea, but I know that they have great um, great herbal teas. Uh, authentic places. Okay, well then you lead the way. I'm going to follow you into those places and hopefully you'll be able to drag me out. <laughs> well, then you're going to have a particularly uh, hard time dragging me out of mom's house because that place is really comfortable. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm going to finish off the rest of this pot. A little FaceTime. I don't want to cover myself. You're gonna miss out on all of this beauty right here. <laughs> yeah, I just made everybody in the room go, ah, <laughs> rolling eyes and everything. Mm. Oh, this is good. I don't want to uh, swallow it all in one shot because that would uh, <laughs> that would ruin the the rest of this video, uh, the rest of the stream. Alright, so any other questions, anything you want to talk about tea related, I'm open for it. Mm. Nothing? <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to... Oh, so, okay, so it's more like a, a cafe. Oh, I lost you for a second there. Uh, so it's going to be more like a cafe rather than a, um, uh, rather than just a tea shop, which I'm down for also, you know, have a, a, a nice place, some, uh, <laughs> excuse me, every week it does, it, that does that to me. It's all that talking and drinking I'm not used to. Oh, it's the hiccups. Ah, there we go. I, I think it's all cleared. Anyway, yeah, I want to, if, if they make the uh, fresh pastries, I'm down, for sure. Uh, and, and also, you know, any place that, uh, maybe for, a, for like a brunch, uh, where you can have a full meal and then dessert, I'm down. You know what? Any, well, I'm a guy, so anything that has anything to do with food, anyway. <laughs> I'm easy to please. Ah, to Curry Hill, Jackson Heights, and Sonali's house. I've never have I met Sonali. I don't. I know of her. I don't believe that we've actually been introduced and had a conversation. But I don't know. We'll see. That's uh, not until August, and then August. That's gonna be fun. Um. So anybody else have uh, have anything? Just going to. Uh, I'm going to open the floor again and finish off this tea while you guys converse. Well, I should hope she's friendly. You know, I mean, it's <laughs> it's going to be like, you know, walking to you. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't work out so well. <laughs> like, ding dong, chair to the face. So, uh, special super. Oh yeah, special supermarkets as well. Um, there was a place down by uh, Elmhurst. Uh, I always look sleepy. You know those are my eyes. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm getting Facebook messages. Oh, doggone it! Uh, yeah, I had to answer that really quick. Um, I have not tried a crumpet trumpet yet. Uh, a tr no, trumpet crumpet. Ani, you're late. <laughs> you're like super duper late. Um, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I don't know where to find them. I'm going to have to like do some research. Um, there's probably a cafe around here, maybe downtown that'll do it. Uh, but we'll see. Because that's, that's not something that's very common 
in my uh, in my experience. But once I find a place, I'll I'll be happy to go down there. Oh, hold on. So, yeah, of course. So you were you're sleeping that you're missing out uh, all the entertainment. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna have to actually Google a place um, and find if there's a cafe that has uh, that has crumpets. But um, yeah, it's 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 possible. I'm I'm quite sure. Uh, so Ani, just because uh, you came in a little bit late, it's gonna recap. I'm making. Uh, I made uh, jasmine silver needle, and uh, you know you. You, yeah, yeah, you can watch it later. Uh, you've heard me talk about how much I love Jasmine, so this one was particularly enjoyable. Um, Madeline Cookies, it's possible. I'm if if that's the one that I'm thinking of, that's like with the the sugar cookies or the very uh, crumbly ones. Then that would probably good uh, be good. A local bakery. Um, I don't know where there is a local bakery around here now that I think about it. Um, the bakeries, the bakeries that were here, they closed a few down. Um, but that was a uh, Spanish bakery. So it had like a lot of, uh, breads and a lot of, uh, Spanish pastries. I don't believe that they had any crumpets, but you know, well, they, they've closed a lot of them down. So it's, it's hard to tell. Um, but yeah, I mean... That would be uh, yeah. That's uh, that's something I'm gonna have to look in, uh, look into. Mm. Oh, I dribbled a little. At least I didn't drop the tea. That's something that uh, <laughs> I'm improving on. All right. Uh, anything else? I'm finishing up here. <laughs> well, it seems that uh, nobody's everybody's got their fill, and uh, nobody's got uh, anything anything on their minds. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up. Thanks again for joining me. Uh, as usual, I'm going to go ahead and put the link on the page um, for anybody that's interested in trying it. And I give this my full endorsement. Um, as long as you. As long as you're interested, go ahead and watch it, and uh, I'll be signing off. Have a good night, everybody.